Hi, this is Rochelle with Journal Life's Journey, and I am back again to do another Timu unboxing. This is a small haul that was inspired by my ocean, sea life, marine life journal that I've been working on. So I was trying to complete the journal with only things that I had in my stash or digitals, but I felt like I wanted to add a little more, so I ordered a few things. So let's just take everything out. And I think I have another order coming, but not everything here is specifically for that uh, junk journal, but a lot of it is. Uh, I wasn't really sure about how these were going to look, but these are little sea-inspired beads. It looks like some of them are a little more cartoonish, but I think I can use them. Let me see, where's the hole on that one? Okay. Yeah, so I plan to make some type of tassel or dangle for that journal. So hopefully I can use some of these. We got different colors, different shapes. So we got the seashells, the starfish. Um, this is an actual fish. Fish. So just a seahorse. Oh, that's cute. It's another seashell. So because it comes in a variety of colors and my main theme is blue i have quite a bit to choose from here so i will try to put links to everything that i haul uh, in the description box below so those are marine life uh, beads then we have these are jellyfish Oh, these are quite heavy and nice. This is what they look like. So it's 10 of them. Jellyfish. Okay, so I got those beads. Then these look like seashells. I think this is a variety of shapes, just like these. this colored version. The different colors. This is just the silver version. So we got shells, seahorses, fish. I like this one better, but I do like the color to add a little pop of color. Uh, seahorses, the different shells. Yeah. And you get quite a bit in here 100 pieces. So that's enough to make quite a bit. All right, let's see what else is under here. So I saw something similar to this on Amazon. And what I tend to do now is if I find it on Amazon, I always go and check over on Timu to see if I can get it for less, unless it's something that I need like in two days. So these are some more ocean marine life inspired beads. So we got the, the blue, the shell white. And these aren't just flat. They have some texture on them. Then we got the starfish. These are nice. Starfish. And we've got multicolors. I like the, the natural colored ones the best. Then we got the sea turtle and the natural and the uh, turquoise blue. And then more of the round beads, just smaller. Okay. So that's that. Like the little case. Then this one, I'm pretty sure I saw this one or something similar on Amazon too. And it was considerably cheaper on Timu. So I picked it up. It comes with the, I don't know what you call this, the plastic, but it comes with that. I'm not sure that I would use that because I want to use something that's going to hold. Then this has these little round discs, little flat discs, I should say. I think they are like a rubbery substance. They're not like a stone or a plastic. Well, it's like a plasticky rubbery thing. And then we got some of the same beads. We got a few cowrie shells, which I like. Okay, so that's gonna come in handy. I wish I had more of them. I think you make bracelets with these, but I'm not sure. Then we got the silver spacers, really tiny. Silver beads. 
tiny as well. And then these are some more of the discs, but these are more shaped like a donut. Okay. So I get all of that. I think I went a little, little crazy on the marine life stuff. Okay, so here we've got some stamps now. So I'll have to take it out because you can't really see through the sticker. But this is what these are. And I'm pretty sure these are on Amazon too. Jellyfish, the sea turtle, seahorse, fish, seaweed, shells. A little of everything. It looks like it's got even little bubbles on there as well. So we got that one. And I've got several. This one is ships. Oh, that's what that looks like. Okay. And then this one with some more ships and other things. Let's see. You can pretty much see this one. So you got the anchor with a mermaid and some text behind her. A ship, an anchor alone, a pirate, so it's like a seagull. I'm not sure what this one, oh, I think that's supposed to be a ship's wheel. Got a rowboat and a corner design with a seahorse and seaweed, I think. A life preserver, and I think this is rope. So that's what that one looks like. Then last, not least, I'm going to take this one out. This will come in really handy. These are good size to make small ephemera. Here we go. This is supposed to be like a postcard, I guess. I don't know. It's awfully small. But these are stamps. This one is shaped like a ticket. This one says seahorse. I think this one says starfish. Post. This is a sea turtle and the whale. So that's what those look like. And then last, I guess everything was sea inspired except for this. Now I'd seen someone else haul this a while ago, and I put them in my cart. There's a, I think, well, three or four of them, three or four sets. I put them all in my cart, and then I looked at it, and I was like, oh, that's a little more than I want to spend. So then, but then when I was getting all of this, I decided to check out with one added in just to see how it is. So this is kind of like a scrapbook paper, but it's vintage look receipt. So it's a pad. And they're all the same. <laughs> that was another reason why I was like, uh, I don't know. But it is a pad. They're all the same. This could be used for um, collaging. They're double-sided. So this is what the other side looks like. And yeah. So I don't know if I order anything more. From Timu, I think I would get more of the different variations. Can't tell how many are in here. I would guess around 50. I don't remember. But they measure about just short of seven. So six and seven eighths by nine and seven eighths. So just short of 10. So seven by 10 approximately. And that's it. So that's nice. You could actually make this, fold these up and make them look more vintage. These would be nice to tuck in a pocket, large pocket, or depending on how you fold it. You could distress these fairly easily to give them even an even more vintage look. So that is everything for this haul. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, so let's get into looking at where I am in the journal. So I know I haven't been on in, what, about two weeks, a little more than two weeks, but I have still been working on this. Um, as you can see, it's quite full. 
and I, I might end up taking some things out because I feel like it's a little stuff. Um, I may want to do something different for the closure ties because it's so fluffy. I think I need a little something more substantial to hold this, but I don't know what it would be. I've added these beads on the shorter strings of the insert notebook. These are the beads that I used. I got these from Joanne. They were on sale. I think I posted a picture on the community tab showing everything that I got. I've really been going all out for this ocean, sea life, marine life inspired project. And I have so many digitals printed out that I will be making other things. So that is another reason why I decided to go ahead and buy all the extras. But here is where we are so far. Now, I did make something to put in this front pocket. I need to make something to put in the back pocket or vice versa. I'm not crazy about this, how it turned out. But this is an envelope that I made out of scrapbook paper. And I just took some of the ephemera in here. Um, from the kit that I made with the digitals that I purchased. Then this is the back. Let me see. And then these are pockets here, so I gotta put something in there. This is a pocket here where you can see that. So I got something in there. And then I need to put something here. Um, and I didn't want to untie this, so I kind of just, this is also the yarn that I purchased. Um, from Joanne. It's not what I really wanted. I wanted eyelash yarn or eyelash trim. They didn't have any. And that was where I originally got the eyelash trim that I have. They didn't have any. So then this is one of the ephemera holders that I made in the previous video. I'll link it in the iCard up above. I decided to just stick it in the front pocket. Then this is a journaling card. I think I got this from the Graphics Fairy. And I made some paperclip tabs. This one has a bobbin of washi tape and just some twine. So each notebook has four of the tabs. They have different things on them. This one, I'll probably put something from the Timu stuff that I purchased. But just a quick flip through. I stenciled on some pages. Um, you saw me stencil the envelope, I think. And then this is just what pages look like try to leave some room for writing and not go too overboard more stenciling stenciling got a pocket here with some ephemera more stenciling stencil This clips up, so you got room to write there. Some more journaling cards. I'm not going to take everything out, but stenciling. I think this is an envelope. Yep, this is an envelope with some little card in there. Belly band shell. So got a little card in there. When I finish this, it will go in the shop um, on my website. Got a vellum pocket here, a journaling card. Tuck spot. I had to figure out something to hold this in place a little better. Probably a, a make a paper clip to go here. But this opens up room to write, got a tag in here. And then this opens up, we got cards in here. That's a printed acetate. This is a belly band. I think I recorded this one too. If I did, I will attach some of the footage that I recorded to the end of this video. Um, yeah, opens up for room to write there. You got some pockets with ephemera on the inside. And then you got these journaling cards that slide underneath the belly band. Okay. Tie it all up with some twine. 
This is another one of the tab paper clips. Got a card in there and some stenciling in the background. So that's the first notebook. And I didn't put anything on the outside of these so that originally these were supposed to be blank notebooks that you could um, create whatever you wanted to with, but decided to go ahead and deck them out. So got some um, stenciling in the background there, another tab, an envelope. There's also a pocket here. This is the envelope just tucked on the edge of the page. It's the tuck spot with some seashells in there, coffee dye paper, another tuck spot and stenciling, journaling card. Might have to put some tape to hold the tape in place. Some more of that washi tape. This is simply gilded, by the way. And then a journaling card. That's an envelope, too. It has a card in it. Chuck spot, stenciling, stenciling, tuck spots, one of the mermaids, she's a tuck spot as well. Belly band shell. Another one of those corner flips, more um, ephemera. Another vellum pocket. And this is a flip out. You can write on this. And then I gotta fill this pocket. So there is a pocket here and then a pocket here. So these are minor things that I'm going to come back and, and do. But since I haven't been on uh, creating anything in so long, I just wanted to show you where I am. More stenciling. So I've done quite a bit of work on this. Another journal card, stenciling. And I like doing the stenciling with the two colors. I think that turns out really nice. Another vellum pocket. Tuck spots. Stenciling. There's a pocket with a shell in it. More stenciling. Another tab. Paper clip. Pocket. The library pocket also has a space in the back. Just leave her out a little bit. And then that's it. And again, in the back, I have a journaling card and the other ephemera holder that I made with just a few ephemera pieces in it. So there's that. So I wanted to put something else in the back. If you have any suggestions on what I could make to go back there, I was thinking maybe an oversized um, tag with hitting writing space in it, something like that. Or maybe some type of small notebook, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll add on the footage of what little I recorded as I was working on this here.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll holla at y'all next time. Bye.